Well, you would think a brand new Corvette C8 would be enough, but uh-uh. In Motorhead Garage fashion, we have the world's fastest production-based C8, and that is coming up next. Motorhead Garage, the program that each week introduces you to and shows you how to install the latest in exciting and innovative products for your vehicle. Motorhead Garage is presented by NHOU Protective Coatings. Now here's your host, Dave Dobson. Welcome to Motorhead Garage presented by NHOU Protective Coatings. Now the jury is back and they say that the 2020 Corvette C8 is fabulous. Well, there's one way to make it even more fabulous, and that's to go to our friends at LG Motorsports. And Sergio, how did you take a stock Corvette like this and make it into the world's fastest C8? Well, there's a number of things that we did. We did uh, some aero work, some suspension work, and um, some interior work. We've lightened up the car a little bit by making our exhaust. It lost 45 pounds off the back of the car. Oh, it's huge. And we did cat deletes, so that really opened it up a little bit more to get a little bit more mile an hour on the back straight. But the most obvious thing is the arrow. We've done a large frame-mounted front splitter, and to balance that out, we did the frame-mounted rear wing. And these are both available online, obviously, and uh, really we, we just got back from Circuit of the Americas and we tested them over the weekend. We loaded up and headed straight out here to you guys. Didn't even have time to wipe it down. That's great, we appreciate you guys coming in. Now the splitter, let's talk about that. How much downforce does that add? And you've driven this thing stock, of course, so what's the difference like once you go to a splitter like that? We'll know for sure once we go to the wind tunnel and test it, but uh, so far we've gotten as much square inch of a uh, splitter that we can on the front end of the car and as much rear wing as we can on the back of the car. So we'll get you accurate figures in a couple of months, but uh, for right now it feels a lot faster. And it's not just the aero, of course you're talking wheels and tires, so getting better grip there. What are you running on this and, and how's that compared to the stock Corvette? So factory wheels and tires are a little bit narrow. We've gone to Hoosier Slicks A7s, 305s in the front, and we've also gone to 345s in the rear. So those Hoosiers are a lot stickier, and you're able to run those tires because you have a lot stronger wheels, and we got those through Forge Line. We've been using them for a long time, and we'll continue to use them. A lot more meat means a lot more grip in the turns. And traction is king. Oh, yes. That traction is also helped by the suspension underneath. Tell me what you're running under this car. So we have two modifications to the suspension. We have monoballs, which takes the factory rubber bushing, gets rid of it, and now we have a spherical bearing in there that keeps your race alignment around the track a race alignment. It doesn't deflect under braking or acceleration. Just make sure that your car does what it needs to do. And it's not just the monoballs. What else have you done with the suspension? So the car had came with a bunch of roll going around to turn. The car would roll over. We need to stop that or reduce it. So we came out with some sway bars that really plant the car around a turn, and it reduces the roll drastically going around the track. As a racing driver, how important is it to stay consistent like that lap after lap? Definitely important. You know, it can make or break a car. And if your car rolls over because the bushings are deflecting, it's not consistent or in a turn, and you can't really push it. So how much did you take off your time at Coda, for example, from this when it was stock to what you have on the car now? Well, Coda's not exactly down the street, so we did quite a few mods at the same time. But in the beginning, there was a test that was held at Coda. The car went from 233. We blew right past that, and right now we're at 220.3. Unbelievable. Pretty big margin right there. Another way to stay consistent is to stay in your seat, and you guys have helped take care of that problem as well. Correct, yes, we put some uh, OMP racing seats in the car. Those are lighter than factory, so that's a plus right there. Those are on some sliders. We have also have our harness bar, which allows you to put our Pro One racing harnesses in the car that really buckle you down. Five-point harness, it's not gonna let you move around and slip around around the turns. Who is buying stuff from LG Motorsports? Are you looking at racers? Are you looking at guys on the street? We have parts for street guys, car show guys, and full-on racers. You know, there are guys who just want to buy headers from us, exhaust components that we make, and we supply them with those as well. If you want to build a full-on race car, we have all the parts and experience to do that for you as well. And how long have you guys been working with Corvette specifically? Well, Lou Gelati was a pro race car driver. He was owner for about 34 years, so we've been doing this a lot longer than most people have been messing with Corvettes. So we're pretty much the number one guys in the Corvette game. How do I know I'm getting quality pieces and parts from LG Motorsports? Well, you're buying the parts from racers and they're made for racers. So we not only test our parts, but you know, we sell them and we offer a lifetime warranty on all of our stuff that we make. If you break it, give us a call. We understand the racetrack's a tough place. We'll replace it for you, no questions asked. Now you've been around Corvettes for a long, long time. What is it that you love about them so much? They're fast, they look great, and they're the all-American car. Uh, with a couple modifications, you can 
go out and pick on Ferrari Challenge cars and Porsche GT3s. Check them out at lgmotorsports.com. If you want to take this and turn it into this, they have the parts for you. And we've got more show coming up for you, more Motorhead Garage presented by NHOU Protective Coatings coming right up.